not burn it. And we're live. Oh, you can see my new little upgrades. All right. Do 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 do. All right. Welcome, 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 welcome. We still got one minute before the pre-start. And we can enjoy the benefits of being early. Dun, 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 dun. No, the benefits are not me singing. <laughs> uh, funny. All right. Let's get it started. One minute. Boop. All right, we're live. Don't touch the camera. There's me echoing myself. Hey. All right, it's 9.55. Welcome to the pre-class. Ah, all right, so since we're early, we get to start. You're going to open up your feet here. I'm going to show this again, actually, in the class, but you're just going to have your feet wide. You technically have more balance with your feet apart, okay? Now, in the pre-class, we like to do some brain games, okay? So today's brain game, we worked on this one last time. I don't know if everyone did the last class. I'm going to take my hands, 90-degree angles, palms up, right? Now palms down. Palms up, palms down. Now what can happen is you can rotate your shoulders. Don't rotate your shoulders. Okay, now look, both at the same time, and you get like a little rhythm. All right, pretty simple. Oh, I forgot to mention, keep your fingers spread. Okay, now what we do is one's going to go over, and then the other. Turn, turn, turn. Do, 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 do. Now you'll see I'm changing my eyes. That's more of an advanced thing. Okay, we got those. Hit, 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 hit. Good. Now, what I can do is the hand that's turned over, I can turn it in like this. Okay, looks like this. Over, in, back, open. Switch arms. Over, in. Back, open. Over, in. Now, don't bend your wrist. Back, open. It looks like this. I do it at the same time. All right, now I'm alternating arms. Can you imagine where this one's going? Watch. There you go. And you're turning your wrist as the arms are coming open. Right? I'm trying not to rotate my shoulders. Do, 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 do. See, I don't want to rotate here. And you can speed it up. <laughs> no, this is not part of the workout. <laughs> this is to train your brain. Because eventually, as one's coming in, and then we can see the cloud hands. You guys just practice that for a second. <clears throat> All right. Now for the pre pre class. Do, 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 do. All right. So today. Ah, a special edition it is Thanksgiving, so we can't do our usual Thursday. I didn't know what color shirt to wear because this is a special edition, so I went with the black. And traditionally, I had been using black to do the breathing exercises, um, quote unquote, what did I call it? Dynamic breathing meditation. Now I'm using black for martial arts, okay? Martial arts is near and dear to my heart. I've been studying for, uh, I don't know, seven years. I also compete in combat sports, but that's not martial arts. Anyways, long story short, Martial arts, at its highest form, is actually like healing arts. I have an energy meridian guy here. When I went to Eastern Massage School, the teacher said, the highest form of martial arts is healing arts. It didn't make any sense at the time, but now, 10 years later, I kind of sort of figured it out. And it's in the title, it's in the description. It's, we're going to use martial arts to defend against stress, sadness, and pain, which all would be considered non-states of healing. Now, Restorative martial arts is based on the premise that your natural state is health, right? So then the body wants to be healthy naturally. It's not in a state of decay. It wants to be healthy naturally. Unfortunately, we have blockages, okay? So 
we're going to explore some of those blockages today. And we come in three forms. All right. Has the class officially started? Almost officially started. I'm, we're back to starting on time, folks. Now with online, there's no three-minute grace period. All right. So what we're going to do, start with your feet together. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of compulsive about starting on time. All right. So my feet are together. Okay. Now, oh, last piece. I'm doing this in no shoes, as is traditional. Uh, if you have knee problems, though, I would recommend wearing shoes. So if you just took your shoes off, maybe put your shoes back on. Or if you can't really see, you know what? Actually, let's get rid of this because you can't see my feet. Ha! Science. Okay, now it's 10 o'clock. I don't even know why I have that, Matt. This thing's kind of nice. Okay, so martial arts stance. We got a lot of different stances. We're going to be experimenting with some different ones. The first one here is this is just feet together. I literally want to squeeze my ankles together. That kind of means I have to roll to the inside of my feet. That's good. Ankles. If you can get your knees together too, that's good. You also want to be squeezing your hips, squeezing your stomach, squeezing your hands like this. We kind of call this pencil. I call it pencil. And I'm squeezing everything in. Very, very just gross and tight stance, okay? Now, from here, we're going to do is you're actually going to squeeze your toes, and you're going to pivot on the toes and bring your heels out. This is like a pigeon toe stance. Now, believe it or not, if you feel stress on your knees, just kind of relax, relax them in. This actually gets your hips in a better position because our hips are so splayed out. And we work a little bit out of this stance. Obviously, it's not very good balance. So then from here, you're going to pivot on your heels to neutral stance. Neutral stance we know quite well. We do that all the time in the classes. Now, look, we're going to continue this stance. So now I'm going to go on the toes, heels out this way. Now, this is actually a very martial arts stance uh, for striking straight down the line, which we will do in a little bit. Now, from here, check this out. I can toes are back to straight. Now, pivot on your heels. Toes are out a little bit. This is our squat stance. We're going to be working out of this stance a lot. And then the last stance that we're going to be doing, you guys sort of know, is I'm going to take my left foot. I'm going to pivot all the way out. Okay. Now this right foot, the toe can be straight. It could be out. It doesn't necessarily matter. I'm going to bend this front knee for standing lunge, which is like a warrior pose, right? We're going to be working out of this position a lot. Okay. Let's try it on the other side. Pivot, heel side pivot on the left. Take your right foot, heel side pivot. Boom here. Bend that front knee. Boom for warrior pose. Okay. Quick review. <laughs> all the stances. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with the warm-up. This is a very traditional warm-up. So I'm going to be in neutral stance. So start with your feet together. Heels apart. Toes apart. I'm in neutral stance. And I'm going to twist right here. Okay. <sighs> all right. Now when I do this, I like to lift up my opposite heel. That if you are not that coordinated, <laughs> which some of us aren't, that's fine. Just keep your feet flat. But make sure you're not twisting through your hips. Do not dread it. See your kneecaps. The kneecaps should not move at all. Okay. And you're going to breathe. Okay. All right. First blockage. And I'm going to throw in, uh, this is technically esoteric knowledge, but I'm going to throw in as much uh, science as possible. Just all my PhD physicists, just please forgive me for my s simplistic understanding of these terms. So I'm coming up. Watch this. Take my hand, chest. And this arm touches the back. So it looks like this. And I'm coming up, and you're actually going to make contact. OK? All right, so in nature, particles, they flow from high pressure to low pressure. So in a lower, if there's a high pressure area with more particles, more density, and there's a low pressure area right next to it, they're going to flow into the low pressure area. Now, this is how your breath works, right? Is I'm going to breathe in. Let's do it together. Breathe in. Inhale. And exhale. So when you contract your diaphragm, you lower the pressure in your upper body, and air particles flow in. This is flow, right? And then what I do when I exhale, so breathe in, and exhale. Exhaling, I'm increasing the pressure in the cavity, and particles are coming out. Our breath, my friends, is almost always stuck because we keep what? Too much pressure in the cavity. We don't learn how to fill. OK, relax. Shoulder shrugs. So pretty much everything today is going to be synced up with breathing. OK, good. And come the other way. Shoulder shrugs. Because we want to enhance the flow of oxygen. We want to keep the pressure technically as low as we can while exercising. OK, good. Relax. Go hands out, oven up, and down. 
and up, and down, good, and up. Good, relax in the breath, get the arms up. These are just warm ups, folks. Nothing complicated. All the way up, all the way down, all the way up, and all the way down. Okay, so let's open up into squat stance. So heel side pivot right here, <laughs> neutral, one more. Okay, if that confused you, just go one, two. Okay, we're gonna pivot, and we're gonna pivot. Now look, my arms are gonna do the same thing, but I'm rotating on the toe. Now notice, when I'm rotating to the right, this left knee is not rolling out. This root, root, I'm staying right in, just pivot and pivot, okay? So the next thing that's interrupted in flow, right? In nature, water always flows from what? High elevation to low elevation, okay? Our blood follows similar path. Now it has a pump, it has muscles to help it, but essentially blood flows high to low, right? It's when you like hang upside down, all the blood rushes to your head, it goes out of your feet, okay? Now with us humans, our blood flow is extremely constricted. It does not even flow. It gets stuck. It also has hardening of the arteries, and there's plaque buildup, and your heart doesn't function. I know. Grim. All right, now watch me. I'm going to come out. I'm going to reach and pivot and reach and pivot and reach and pivot. So with the martial arts, we try to open up the flow of the bloodstream. How do we do that? We're about to find out. It's essentially about opening the pathways, right? Contracting the muscles slowly over time, like our isometrics and stuff, that's gonna push the blood out. And then when we relax, the blood comes back in and we're creating the flow of blood. Okay, watch me. This one's, pay attention. Here, pivot, around, all the way around. So pivot, around, all the way around, come back. Pivot, around, all the way around, come back. Pivot, around, all the way around, come back. Pivot, around, all the way around, come back, pivot, all the way around, around, come back. Good, check it out. All right, let's go ahead into our stretches, okay? So first stretch right here, forward fold, neutral stance, breathe in, inhale, and exhale, dive into the pool, reaching all the way down. Now the third flow is my favorite form of flow, is the, it's the way that light works. Now, if you like physics, light has a lot of different properties. Over to the right. Essentially, it doesn't really flow. It just fills space. Like if you turn on a light in a room, it kind of whoop, opens it up all the way, fills all the space. And come to the other side. There's a lot more. Essentially, though, the light that we use is our brain. And coming in, our brain sends electricity through a current. Coming back in. Now, Western science, they have us believe right here. Open. Right foot, pivot out. This is that warrior pose. Now we're new from warrior, hold it, breathe, hands come out, inhale, exhale. Western science thinks that the brain works like a circuit where it's flowing in and flowing and it makes the circle. While that's cool and all, it's way too unsophisticated. And we're gonna lock this front knee out. This is called triangle. Okay, now from triangle, we're gonna make the pyramid. So I'm gonna take this hand, my right hand, I'm gonna slide it down my leg. Most of us get right about here, which is fine. You just wanna be stretching out this hip. Now take this left hip and you're gonna roll it back. Oh God, it just slid. Roll it back like this, stretching out here. If it bothers your neck, just relax your neck. Now, if you're more flexible, you can drop down. I was doing these earlier today, so I'm like, I can go all the way in. But um, if you want to, drop all the way down. You can, just don't pull your back, okay? Now breathe in, relax. Coming up and recover. All right, let me finish my science, my science speech here. Okay, take this left foot, turn, and warrior coming out. So I like to think of the way that your neurology works is when that, there's electricity, it literally just floods the entire body at once, one giant synapse. It actually makes more sense than thinking of like one kabillion different uh, functions of the brain. And locking out here, good, coming down, reaching down. That translates to us is our mind gets stuck in our body. We only use certain aspects. I've been studying this a lot with humans. You can activate every muscle individually, but we tend to just rely on a few specific muscles. So in today, we're going to be trying to activate muscles we don't usually use, like this side right here. So I'm going to roll open. Good. If you're dropping down, if you can. I know. No more talking. I got you. <laughs> Science. That's what I do for fun here. All right. We're going to come back in and relax. Okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to get our hamstring stretch. I want to stretch these. <sighs> a little bit differently than we're used to. So follow me, okay? We're gonna turn, you don't have to turn. I'm gonna step forward with my right leg, two steps. One, two, okay? This is split stance. 
We're not going to work in split stance today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this front knee out. Boom, okay? That's it. Do you see this back leg? I'm going to straighten it. This is like a modified triangle. Make sure my hips are straight forward. Now, if I want more of a hamstring stretch, I'm going to take my hips like I'm chopping myself in half, and I'm going to fold forward. Boom. If you need to bounce, use the wall. I'm pretty sure you would have already done that. Ah! I made my balance worse. Okay, here, chop in half and fold. Now, those are the more flexible variety. You could probably fold a little lower. Don't let this hip, your right hip, the opposite hip or left hip, the hip that's back, don't let it roll open and dive in this way, right? You want to stay square and diving in here. We're just stretching this upper tendon. Now, getting out of this little grace, coming back up, bend the front knee, step forward and together. Fun. That's more of an advanced pose. Okay, so left foot now, forward. One, two, bend the front knee. Okay. Ah, breathe. Lock out the front leg, pull the front toe up for modified triangle. Okay, now from here, chop yourself in half. Fold at the waist. Start to get the hamstring stretched out. So long story short, three aspects of restorative martial arts. One, get the oxygen flowing. Two, get the blood flowing. Three, open up the mind to activate as many muscles as possible at the same time. If you do all of those things, good things happen. Okay. Holding down. Good. Good. Stepping forward and relax. <sighs> so the workout, you're probably going to feel a lot in your legs. I guarantee, you, though, it is full body. If you're doing it right, it's even going to be more abs. Okay. So let's start here in pencil, feet together. What I want you to do is I want you to literally squeeze your abs, suck your abs in, squeeze your legs, squeeze your knees, squeeze your ankles, squeeze your arms. Ready? Squeeze everything six seconds. One, two, three. Make as much pressure as possible and relax. Woo. Now we're going to sync up the breathing, okay? So same position, no energy, just relaxed. We're going to breathe in, inhale. We're going to exhale six seconds. Every second, we're going to contract more. Ready? So exhale, one. Exhale, two. Exhale, keep exhaling, three, increasing pressure, four, five, six, and relax. So that's going to essentially do all three at the same time. So we'll, ready with me, relaxing, holding the position as little energy as possible. We're going to breathe in, lightening everything. Now you're going to exhale, contract, two, three, keep exhaling, four, five, six, and release. So over the six seconds, you're going to increase the contraction. You're also going to increase your exhale, okay? It's like playing an instrument all the way through. Okay, let's do it one more time. So here, relax, breathing in. And exhale, squeezing everything. Exhale, squeezing everything. Exhale, squeezing everything. Exhale, exhale. And relax, okay? So just in that position, there's a lot of different things you could squeeze. Let's open it up to neutral stance, okay? We're gonna focus on the glutes and the core for this squeeze, okay? So from here, my arms are relaxed. I'm gonna breathe in. I'm going to exhale, suck your stomach in, squeeze your glutes, squeeze, 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 and release. Now, I'm not going to count every time because that's annoying. All right, so neutral stance, watch from your side, breathe in. Exhale, suck your stomach in, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, right here, squeezing, and release. Good. It's impossible to build muscle in areas you don't activate, so we got to activate. Here we go. Breathe in, inhale. Exhale, suck the stomach in, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze, 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 and release. Nice. Good job. Okay, we're going to open that up into the warrior. So take your left foot, turn it out, take one step laterally, boom, into warrior, okay? Same muscles, we're going to add arms out, okay? Same muscles meaning we're going to squeeze our core and squeeze our glutes. So our arms are going to be out. Here we go. Breathe in, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your stomach. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze, 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 and relax. Don't put your arms down, okay? Here we go. Breathe in, inhale. Exhale, suck your stomach in, squeeze your glutes, squeeze, 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 and release. Good. One more time. Last one, inhale. And exhale, squeeze your stomach, squeeze your glutes, and release. All right, so to bar your confusion, you're going to keep exhaling continuously for six seconds. You're going to increase the squeezing pressure, and if you can, increase the breath out. 
I can't do that and talk to you guys, even though that'd be cool if I could. All right, so right leg. Here we go. Turn it out. Step into warrior. Now, hands are going to be in a slightly different position, right? They're going to be open. My palms are up. This is a receiving position. My hands are coming up at the 45-degree angle. My neck is completely relaxed, okay? So in this position, I'm going to breathe in. Inhale. Squeeze your stomach and your abs. Here we go. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Four. Five. Six. And release. Hold the position. Good. Breathe in. And exhale, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, and release. Good. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze your stomach. Squeeze your abs. Two, three, four, five, six, and release. Dropping down. You're probably feeling your shoulders a little bit. Good. All right. So we're going to turn. Or I'm going to turn. I keep saying we're going to turn. So you're going to come in a neutral stance. Okay. This position, you guys know, this is called ski jumper. So we're going to work into ski jumper here. Arms are my sides. Palms are facing forward. Okay. Stomach is slightly engaged. Glutes are slightly engaged. I'm going to breathe in. Inhale. I'm going to exhale, dropping into ski jumper. Okay. And I want you to hold right here. Not in a super deep ski jumper, but that's fine. Now, everyone put their hands right here on the back of your legs. I want you to squeeze your glutes, squeeze these muscles in the back of your legs. Very important, okay? Hold, squeeze those glutes, stomach in, breathe in. Exhale, squeeze everything, squeeze stomach in, squeeze glutes, stomach in glutes, and relax. Now, that is not a martial art position at all. That's, that's very, very um, poor. But what we're gonna do, and this is, this is, this is what we're doing, is I wanna, I wanna bend my knees, right? I wanna get those back of the legs and glute muscles engaged, just like I was here, but now I'm standing, okay? And I'm gonna squeeze, and what you'll see me do is I slide my hands down the back of my legs. Okay, I feel them flexing, right? Okay, I feel them flexing, right? Try it, go. Are they flexing? If they're not flexing, bend over and flex them. No, they don't need to be like super flexed at the moment. Don't tell me you're fat, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> okay, all right, so here, what we're gonna do, Right? Slight bend. Flex all the muscles in the back of your legs. Keep those muscles flexed as you bend your knees. This is a modified chair. This, my students, this is a very martial art position. This is indeed where pretty much all martial arts happen. Okay? Holding and release. It shouldn't hurt your knees, right? If you do this, and I'm leaning back, that's gonna bother your knees. But if I flex the back of my legs first and bend my knees, I'm actually in a moderately comfortable position, okay? There's other stuff I'm doing with my feet and stuff. Don't worry about that. Just worry about the back of the legs, okay? This is a loaded position. There's a lot of strength. This is actually where you would, would jump out of, okay? So I'm just gonna call that the martial art position, okay? So squeeze the back of your legs, bend your knees, dropping down right here. Feel it, legs, right? Legs, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a breathing exercise, okay? Follow me, so we're gonna breathe in. Sorry, sorry, low circle. Breathe in, inhale. And exhale, dropping down. Keep the weight in your legs, keep the back of your legs flexed. Everything else is relaxed, inhale. And exhale. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale, keep your legs in this position. Pivot on your toes. Boom, if this bothers your knees, just bring your heels in a little bit. Okay, keep this going. Now we're gonna do right here, we're gonna work some isometrics. Keep your legs in this position, okay? Mystery Gosku, you guys don't know who that is, but this puts my hips in nice and alignment, okay? So I'm gonna teach you guys, you guys know Kung Fu position right here, right? Fingers are in, thumbs are struck in, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna bring our hands into this position. So my left hand is in my chest, my right hand is in my chest, okay? Like this, Mwah. This looks cool, doesn't it? Now, this is gonna be an isometric for our arms, you're gonna, Keep the legs in this position, okay? Nice tall posture, posture from the side. Nice tall posture, I'm gonna breathe in, inhale. And I'm gonna push my hands this way, flexing my chest until this arm hits my elbow. And release, okay? Six seconds, then watch me from the run. Just watch me here, it's this, right? And I'm catching my elbow, okay? So here, arms up, I'm gonna breathe in. And I'm gonna exhale, pushing, boom, pushing in here, pushing in here, pushing in here, pushing in here, and release. See my legs? I lost it in my legs. That was not a good set. I got to reset everything, okay? Shake it out. <laughs> now, if you feel your knees twisting, just straighten your legs out. It's not the end of the world. But ideally, this should not be uncomfortable. Okay, so here, now we're going to switch the hands. Right arm in the chest, left arm in front. Breathe in, inhale. I'm going to exhale. Two, three, make contact. Four, five, six, 
and relax, okay? That's strengthening the chest muscles. We're creating pressure, releasing pressure, getting that blood flow, okay? Let's switch the arms. Ooh. Left arm in front, here, breathe in, inhale. Our right arm in front, inhale. Exhale, push, exhale, push, and lock the elbow in, push, push, and release. Make sure you're still breathing. Why don't I do this one with you guys? I'll do the breathing and I'll annoy you with the microphone sounds. Okay, so here, right arm is in, breathe in, inhale, and then exhale. Woo, and I spit everywhere, that's even awesome. Okay, good, straighten the legs out. Hear that breathing? There's 16 years of band coming into it. All right, the next one, you guys know, okay? I'm coming in here. Boom, this is high circle this way. Okay, hold. Now, I want you to get a nice, tall posture. You're going to lift up good, holding. Now, we're going to breathe in, inhale, relaxing everything, inhale. And then exhale. You're like, I don't know this one. You know this one, watch this. So you're going to breathe in, inhale. And when we exhale, you're going to squeeze your arms together, tightening everything up. Exhale, 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 exhale. Good. Breathe in, inhale. Flex everything except your neck. Good. And exhale, exhale, squeezing all your muscles in your arms. Good. Inhale. Check your knee position. Check your leg position. Good. Inhale. And exhale, 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 and release. Nice. You're like, I thought it was going to be a leg workout. Hold on. We gotta change the camera here in a second. All right, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Quick, 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 before we change the camera. Here, all right, neutral stance, relax. Okay, ha, okay, good. Neutral stance, we're gonna come into low circle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in, inhale, and when you exhale, rotate your palms out, thumbs go out, squeeze the back of your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is standing cobra, you guys know this from core strength, and release. So watch it from the back here. Oh, those pivots are fun, huh? Breathe in, inhale. And exhale, rolling my thumbs back, holding, squeezing, 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 squeezing. All right, one more time. At this point, your breathing and brain should just be exploding from fatigue. Here we go. Breathe in, inhale. And exhale, driving out. Exhale, exhale, hold, 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 and release. Good. Okay, at this point, go ahead, pause the video and get water. That's for my people who aren't doing it live. If you're doing it live, go ahead, get water. I got to change the camera here. Today's sponsor is juice. <laughs> drink out of a wine glass so you feel like you're drinking even though you don't drink. And you look cool. All right, hold on. Let me see if I got it there. That should have worked. Okay, we should be back. All right, get water. One second. I just want to make sure that I restarted the camera properly here. All right, we're good. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so up until this point, we've been doing a lot of breathing and a lot of pressing. I'm going to let that go for a second because we're going to need our brains to do something else as we work on the balance, okay? So just keep your body relaxed, right? Start with your feet together. We're going to move kind of quick here, so pay attention. All right, here, squeeze your toes together, heels apart, right? From pivot on your heels, so your toes are centered, okay? We're going to practice. This is called a pivot into an empty stance. I'm going to pivot on my left heel, pivot, and as I pivot, I'm shifting my weight into this right leg. This ugly bent over posture is not what you You see I'm pivoting here? This is an empty stance because this foot technically should have no weight in it, okay? So let's try that again. I'm standing nice and tall. I'm going to shift my weight and pivot. See, that's all it is. And again, shift my weight and pivot. Good. Shift my weight and pivot. If this knee is moving, you're doing it wrong. Okay, good, I'm doing it right. Shift and pivot. Now, once we have shift right here in this pivot, we're gonna take this leg, our left leg, and we're gonna step straight down that lateral step. Boom, you guys know this from, from class. Empty stance, shift the way in. Notice what position I'm in. Hot warrior, okay? Now reset. Let's try that again, right? Shift your weight into the right leg. Breathe in. Shift your weight into the right leg. Heel side pivot. Empty stance. I'm going to step laterally. Boom. Empty into this warrior position. Right. Come out and relax. Watch me one time. Looks like this. It's very succinct, right? Don't just, you got to, 
engage your muscles, all right? So one more time that side, ready? Here we go, shift your weight into the right, heel side pivot, step through empty stance, boom, lunging out into warrior, nice. All right, let's try the other side, ready? So here, shift your weight into the left, heel side pivot, make sure there's no weight in this right foot. I'm gonna step laterally out, catch, you know what catch is, that's fine. Here, hold, arms come out for warrior. Okay, reset, here we go. Neutral, pivot, boom, take this leg, step, lunge out, here, good, and relax. One more time, here, pivot, take this leg, step out, and relax, okay? So we're gonna turn this into a flow. You guys, some of you have done this before, okay? Just do it with me, and you're gonna maybe move around the room a little more than you're used to, but that's fine. I'm gonna try to stay on camera, okay? So feet together, pencil. Squeeze your toes, heels apart. From here, straighten out your toes. Breathe in. Shift your weight into the right foot. Pivot on the left foot. Step out into warrior. Boom. Take this back foot. Heel up. Ooh. Heel up. Pivot on that toe. Now I'm in what? High lunge-ish. Take this back foot. Step in. Or slide your foot in. <laughs> and look, my feet are together, and then the equation resets okay so let's try that again let's go the other way though okay so standing in pencil right heels apart neutral stance shift your weight into the left heel side pivot on the right stepping through into warrior heel up in the back toe side pivot into high lunge stepping through or sliding my feet are together can you guess what we do next the same thing toes apart straighten out which way did I shift before, right? To this side, right? Now you do the other side, shifting into the right, moving, stepping through, toe up, heel up, sorry, step through, and together, okay? Now we connect the dots and start to flow it out. This is the beginning flow. This is how it all starts, okay? So here, let's do it together with me. And I might just end up off camera, it doesn't matter. Okay, everyone together, right? Feet together, squeeze your toes, heels apart, neutral stance, shift your weight, into the right, heel side pivot on the left, stepping through into warrior, lifting back heel, pivoting. Now I'm coming into neutral stance, okay? From pencil, sorry, pencil, toes apart, heels together, shift your weight into the left, heel side pivot on the right, stepping through, boom, pivot on the back toe, feet together. Now you reset. Here we go. Heels apart, boom, shifting into the left, heel side pivot on the right, stepping through, boom, heel up, twist. Step through here, all the way up, and again, heels, toes, other way, pivot, 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 and again, here we go, and boom, boom, shift, heel side pivot, step through, again, recover. Woo! Did your brain explode? It should have, folks. Coordination, balance, control, and sequencing. That's like pff, a bazillion exercises in one, okay? That is very important for our martial arts because a lot of things are going to be based on this stepping and then striking, okay? Good. All right, let's do some arms, okay? We still got time? We got so much time. Okay, neutral stance. All right, you remember this position? Now from here, look, I'm going to take this backhand, this left hand, I'm going to come right over, and I make a circle. So it looks like this. Left hand goes over, right hand comes in. Now from here, this right hand goes over, left hand comes in. Now you could open, well, it's this way, right? Oh, geez. Don't do that. That's confusing. Keep the fist boom, right over the top, right over the top, right over the top. Now what this gets to practice, one, is I get this nice tall posture as I'm punching straight forward. Two is we're going to actually start working some speed. And then three is, honestly, ladies, if you're going to strike someone, right down the chest, best way to do it, okay? So from here, nice tall posture. Left hand's on the chest, right hand's forward, make your fist, right, left hand goes over right, right hand goes over left. Pop, 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 pop. And now we're gonna speed up and quick, 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 good. Right over top, should be nice flow. How's your posture, right? How's my stomach muscles? How are my glutes, good? And let's go ahead and speed that up and boom, 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 boom. Just like a nice flow, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Are your neck relaxed? Is your neck relaxed? Good. Now, keep your arms going at this tempo. I'm going to get you guys today. Here we go. Shift your weight into the right foot. Heel side pivot on the left. <laughs> no? Okay, relax. Good. I was making that up. That wasn't even in the material. 
Woo! Good. All right, how we feel? Ah, oh, it's slightly tired, but not tired enough. You said I'd feel it in my legs. Good. You should feel it in your legs because your knees are bent the whole time. All right. Okay, good. A few more and we'll be done. All right. So from neutral stance, this is the last thing that I prepared for today. Okay. But then I want to do something I just thought of that'd be cool. All right. So from neutral stance, right? Into pigeon toe, right? My heels are apart. Now come into a wider neutral stance. Slightly turn your feet out. This is for squat. Now, we don't really do weightlifting squats for martial art class. What we do instead is we flex the back of our legs and we bend our knees. Okay? This is a modified horse. Remember horse from – it's also martial arts. That's in the more advanced class. So it's a modified horse. I want to feel the weight in my legs. Okay? What this allows me to do is I can shift my weight – this horse, a little harder to shift my weight. This horse, I have a lot of what's called lateral mobility, so I can move side to side. I want you to practice that, right, left. If you're feeling your knees, just straighten them out a little bit, right, left, right, left. Good, okay. Now, this is the last piece that I prepared today, is we're actually going to shift our weight from here. I should call it mini horse. Shift our weight. See this foot? Pick it up. Shift, pick it up. Shift, pick it up. Now, you don't want to do this, okay? It's not freaking ballet class. You're staying low, shift and pick up, boom, boom, boom. And if in a perfect world, look, I could just lift my foot without really shifting my weight, okay? Keep your knees bent, shift. It's like a shift and lift, right? But my weight is forward. My knees are still bent. Flex the back of your legs, okay? If someone walked in right now, they what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> Good. Now this is keep going. Now we're going to pick a leg. We're going to hold it. This is, this is actually a pretty high level balance. Okay, good. Shift and hold it. Okay, shift and hold it. Ah, good. Shift and hold it and relax. Nice, good. Breathe. Okay, this is the one that I thought of that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> All right, I know it's, it's a little bit uh, avant-garde, I would say. Okay, so from pencil, okay. Follow along, heels apart, neutral stance, go into pigeon toe, heels apart, okay? From pigeon toe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our hands out. I'm gonna be a high circle, right? I know. I just wanna try this today, see how you guys do. Okay, from here I'm gonna breathe in, hands come up, and I'm gonna exhale, keep your feet where they are, bend your knees, dive in for a pigeon toe forward fold, never forward done. Huh, I don't. I kind of feel it more in my hip. I don't know. Now, what I wanted to do was, while our hands are on the ground, pretty sure everyone gets their hands on the ground, is pivot your toes in <laughs> the pencil, and then out, and then in. I wonder if this would give us more control. I went the wrong way. In, 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 in. Roll up super slow, and relax, okay? Look. Yes, this is all my own creation, in case you're wondering. You probably figured it out by now. We got to change it up, folks. Doing the traditional stuff is good, even though it's like, never mind. This is fun. It's supposed to be fun. If you guys aren't having fun, then <laughs> if you're not having fun, at least you got better in shape. All right, so breathing exercise for today. <sighs> I'm reviewing in my head which ones we've done already. The one I chose for today is, is it's kind of boring, but that's fine. <sighs> Not boring. It's simple. All right. So here I'm in neutral stance. Okay. I'm going to be in low circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to breathe in. My palms come up. You guys know this one. Inhale. And when I exhale, my left arm is going to go up. My right arm is going to come out. This is called, uh, it's technically called splitting the heavens, but that's a different name. Okay. Now from here, look, both palms are up. I'm going to breathe. Inhale. This, my palms facing down. This palms facing up. And then you're going to rotate through the center as you exhale, okay? So breathe in, inhale. One palm's facing up, one palm's facing down, and then the top arm pivots. Boom, inhale. Exhale. I regret calling this one boring, this one's fun. Inhale. And exhale. Now we did a lot of pressure, inhale. Today, making our oxygen move, exhale. Did a lot of movement, got a lot of blood flow, inhale. Now, last piece is we're going to get our mind to flow here. So what I want you to do, inhale, close your eyes. Try to see your arms in your mind. Exhale. See your hands in your mind. Breathe in, inhale. 
Keep doing the same movement. Exhale. Try to visualize your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring your hands around. I just did that one. Open your eyes for a low circle right here. Now, this is the last piece. We always used to end our classes with meditation. So I'm going to close my eyes. Not going to be a long meditation. Close my eyes. I want you to feel your feet, knees, hips. Visualize them in your mind. Feet, knees, hips. Now, without moving, just relax them all. Relax them. Now we go up. Stomach, chest, shoulders. See them, stomach, chest, shoulders, and then relax them. Now, last piece, just the head, the neck, okay? See it? Relax it. Now relax everything together. Relax. Good. Open your eyes, closing breath, breathe in, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, good, inhale. And exhale, diving into the pool, reaching down, coming all the way down. Hands go down, heads go down, good. Ah, class reflection, restorative martial arts. Good. We did a lot today. I'm going to keep building on this, folks. I've been working on this for quite a long time. It obviously needs a lot more work, but that's okay. Good. And we're rolling up, rolling up, rolling up. And work out, click yourselves around applause. Nice job, folks. All right, this if you're watching this currently, it's Thanksgiving weekend, so what do they say on Thanksgiving? Don't eat too much. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, next month is December. We're going to be pushing forward with the classes in December. I'm going to continue taking suggestions for December, so what you want to work on, please let me know. In January, however, we're, I'm going to be launching 30-day transformation program. I'm going to be looking for 7 to 10 people to participate in the transformation program. It's going to include a myriad of a bunch of different tools and things. Essentially what it is though is we want to transform your body in 30 days. The only requirement is one, you have to be a part of the group. You have to participate. And two, you have to be over the age of 55. I've lowered it now to 55. Okay. We're not going lower than 55. You have to be on the age of 55 to do a 30 day transformation program. That is going to start in January. It's also going to include some private coaching. It's going to include some more live videos. It's going to include essentially a lot of stuff. I've been preparing it Ah, oh, for a while. It's been an interesting year. Okay? So, hope you enjoyed restorative martial arts. Just sort of a special thing. We're going to be back on track in December doing our Thursday workouts. I got to look at the Christmas schedule. I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll modify for Christmas if it's Christmas is on Thursday. Okay? So, that's the plan. December, back on Thursdays. If you want suggestions for those workouts, if you have suggestions, please send them to me. I will do them. January, we're going to be starting a 30-day transformation program. Okay? Cool. So with that, I'm Coach Russo. If you want more classes, you can go to yobifitforever.com. Okay? Have a happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time. Peace. Crushed it. Hey, nice job. Woo. Uh oh. Thank you, everyone. Have an amazing weekend. I think the camera went live. All right. Till next time.